So this hero power from our opponent should deal 1 million damage, right? This is 1 million damage. This is a 1 million damage hero power. If I did all my math correctly, if I counted my curse blades, my garages, all correctly, this hero power is going to deal 1 million damage. <laughs> 2 mana, 1 million damage hero power. <sighs> oh man. Yes, the map checked out. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> ha, this guy's toast. So you're probably wondering, how did I take 1 million damage from a single hunter hero power? During one of our bug testing stream, one of my viewers sent me a report of a bug. Apparently, if you have a curse blade equipped, which doubles all the damage you take, and you switch to Scourge Lord Garrosh, you still keep the double damage debuff even though the curse blade gets destroyed. Alright, so we replace curse blade, new hero, the curse blade effect is gone. So if we hit this, we should only take 4 damage and go to 31 with one armor, right? As you can see, we took 8 damage, which means the curse blade effect is still in play. Upon further testing, we also found that the bug can stack if you play another Curse Blade and another Scourge Lord Garrosh. You take double the double damage. So we want to see just how many Curse Blade effects we can stack at the same time. Now there are a few obstacles to overcome in order to achieve this goal. The first issue was of course getting multiple copies of these two cards. A weapon card and a hero card. Thanks to the introduction of the new card Dead Man's Hand, we can repeatedly shuffle them in over and over again. The second issue was fatigue damage. This one was easily solved by each player having one Violet Illusionist on board, preventing either of us from dying to fatigue. The third and final issue was the turn limit. A game of Hearthstone will automatically end in a draw once you hit turn 45, meaning you have to play the combo as often as you can and as early as you can. With the usage of Skulking Geist and tons of 1 mana spells, we can quickly thin our deck to just the important pieces. We have 2 gadgets and Auctioneers on board so that we can draw our whole combo when we play 1 copy of Dead Man's Hand. And finally, we have one Blackwater Pirate to reduce our Curse Blade cost to zero, allowing us to play all three cards each turn. And with this setup, we were able to repeatedly slam down Curse Blades and Scourge Lord Garrosh's each turn, over and over until finally, our opponent can deal 1 million damage and one glorious hero power. It's 1 million damage hero power. Two mana, one million damage hero power. Hey, lights out.